by Five Hour Energy. And welcome to the ACC on ESPN. Always a treat to come to Cameron, and it's sold out for the 436th consecutive time. Syracuse taking on Duke in an important game for both of these. What about their rhythm and effectiveness together? They've been playing great for four games without them. In fact, Grayson Allen's averaged 23.8 in those four games. Shot clock winding down. The Val got caught in midair, tried to bank one home. And the they get the ball in that ACC area, in that three-second area. Slide somebody right across the lane. Battle penetrates, gives it up to Howard. Beats the timer and knocks it down along two. Howard lobs it and Chuku able to get it out. And the Cameron Crazy's love it. A lot of hustle. Bagley, yes. It's more interesting as Duke takes on Syracuse. Kansas able to pull off a tremendous win. On the, the next team in line to possibly be a one seed if one of those top four were to have a big stumble. Duke of oh. Michigan's. Nice pass, cut into the goal, and unable to finish was DeLaurier. Back the other way comes battle, coast to coast, and that is the test. That's very good. He goes coast to coast with scoring ability at 6-6. Six, six. The lob, and the oh. finish, hanging from the rim, Mark. Carter, yes. Reset can't connect, White with the rebound. Scoring, the basketball's been a real touchdown. How about the oh. lob? Dump. Allen too strong for three the other way, and here comes Frank Howard. He gives it up. Moyer leans in and is able to lay it home. Short McDonough, proud Syracuse grab. Oh, nice what a pass. Around pass! Big man to big man. That's 875. The kid Dylan hit a big three at the buzzer. Howard lobs it. This nice. time it's on. Rooting class they have coming in next year. Paul being guarded himself, he wanted a tremendous classes that Jim Bam has. Oh, Again, two. another perfect pass. Nice. That's where you want to go to that foul line area. Boyer? Yes. Rudy, and it's hurt them big time in recruiting. Battle. Throws it up to Chuku. David Bing. That's a little before your time. A little before your time. Bagley. Tough catch. And a finish. Eyes throws one up and knocks it down. Don't, I could go out there, 78 years old, one eyed ball hit a guy, and I could make something. You could be 24. Grayson Allen gets the steal. Hurry. Down the lane. Challenge Dolezal as he ran into Carter. Whoa. But finally, a three goes as Prisic. And it's run down by Duval. The hit ahead to Carter. Oh, he can't get away. Look at Carter. You see his box the ducks? It's like watching Charles Barkley. He's a little more solid than Charles was when he was young. Charles had a lot of donuts. With the left hand smoothly. It's really nice when you hear guys who can go to the interior and get easy shots if you're struggling from the perimeter. Three from the corner. That's a big shot. That's pretty good. Two for four. You made a Hall of Fame <laughs> in baseball. I think that's 50%. With the left hand. Back. Howard, old school floater is perfect. They'll have some shooters next year. Buddy Bayham can shoot it. They got a great big guy coming in. Darius Bas Baisley. Oh. It from the corner. Another rebound for Bolden. You know, they go on a little spurt, Duke. They break this game. Oh. And oh. the finish by Mays Mays probably going to be one of the great walk-ons ever to play. I mean, he was a walk-on. Battle along two. Yes. 2016, and last year, he won in a three-point shot by Gillen. NBA level even even would have been greater, but he's terrific and he does a great job representing basketball as a broadcaster. Battle hit with the left hand coming up short. Carter kicks it back outside. Straight away three for Trent. Yes. You know, Grayson Allen gives him that leadership. When you're down in Kentucky, they got all diaper dandies, but they don't have a veteran player with the talent level of Allen. There Allen he scores. scores. No doubt in my mind, he will play at the next level. Carter went to left hand. DeAndre Ayton's parents and his family and a lawyer came out very strong, saying totally embarrassed, humiliated by the FBI report today. Well, the lawyer, and this is something that ESPN obviously is clarifying as a three goes down for battle. Uh, the attorney 
for Aiton, urging the FBI and the NCAA as Trent throws one down to come out and clear his name, saying that they are outraged and disgusted. He's been falsely implied that their son and the family have any involvement in illegal or prohibited activities regarding his decision to go to the university. Part of a conversation, I'll tell you this. Anybody that says Sheer ain't five over the last recent years in basketball, as we watch Ryan like a baby, wondering about what's going to come out. Because this is not the end of this. But let's not just assume all of them. Everybody assumes, oh, he had to know, the coach had to know, this one had to know. The guy's doing so he can be home with his kids. He's flying home tomorrow morning to Jersey to be with his family and his kids. And they're getting on a plane at 7 o'clock, getting home about 12, 7 o'clock, and going to Alaphilos. You're quite the dad. I'm going to vote you father of the year. That is my itinerary tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> Convincing win for Duke as they hold Syracuse to a season low 44 points. Syracuse, an even number of turnovers and field goals made, not usually a recipe on the road to get a win. And Duke wins going away. For Allison Williams and Dick Vitale, I'm Bob Wischusen. Thanks for joining us for another Duke win here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. It's time to send it back to the studio. So long from Durham, 60-44, to your final Duke over Syracuse.